The Shillong Chamber Choir that was founded in 2001 had shot to fame after winning the reality show India's Got Talent Season 2 in October 2010 that was aired in Colors TV where it performed Western chorals as well as choral style revamps of popular Bollywood classics. The choir consists of about 25 members that include singers and other musicians. Music director and chief conductor late Neil Nonkanri was the founder of the Shillong Chamber Choir. The choir made its debut performance at Pinewood Hotel in Shillong on the 14th and 15th January 2001 with Neil Nonkanri, a concert pianist, as their conductor and continued performing ever since. Late Nonkanri studied at the Guildhall School of Music and Trinity College London and thereafter worked as a concert pianist for 13 years in Europe before returning to Shillong and starting the choir with local youth. The Shillong Chamber Choir had been performing at various concerts in venues all across the globe. Some of such performances include the one at the inaugural ceremony of the 42nd International Film Festival in India in 2011. The choir's repertoire includes works of Western classical music, including Handel, Bach, Gershwin and Mozart, and hits by rock group Queen and Kasi folk songs and opera. Over the years, it has performed in Britain, Poland, Switzerland, Sri Lanka, Italy and the Indian cities of Delhi, Bangalore, Mumbai and Guwahati. In March 2009, the choir performed with the visiting Vienna Chamber Orchestra in Shillong and Kolkata and was invited to perform in Sri Lanka. In July 2010, the choir was selected by ICCR for a Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region or donor-sponsored trip to participate at the 6th World Choir Games or Choir Olympics held at Shaojing in Shanghai Province of China, where it was a lone group amidst over 8,000 singers in 209 choirs from more than 60 countries besides 14,000 plus Chinese singers. 260 choirs took part in choral competitions in 20 categories. Shillong Chamber Choir earned gold diplomas in three categories that included Musica Sacra or Sacred Music, Gospel Medley of a Few Songs and Popular Medley of Bollywood and English Numbers. This came after its participation at the second World Choir Games in South Korea in 2002 where it won a silver award in the folklore category. The Shillong Chamber Choir participated in reality talent show India's Got Talent Season 2 in September 2010 on Colors TV after participating in Kolkata auditions where they qualified and then survived the elimination rounds where they sang Hindi film classics Ajib Dasta Ye Hai from Dil Apna or Preet Parai and Ye Dosti from Shole in the semi final round. The choir grew immensely popular in Northeast India. It went on to win the show's finale on 2nd October, where they sang a choral version of Hindi film song Tu Ashiki Hai from 2003 Jankar Beats. The choir performed at President Pratibha Patel's presidential banquet at the Rashtrapati Bhavan on 8 November for the US President Barack Obama and Michelle Obama during their November 2010 state visit to India. They had already performed once at Rashtrapati Bhavan at the invitation of the then President Dr. APG Abdul Kalam during Christmas 2002. On October 30th, 2011, they collaborated with Shankar, Esan and Loy at the second Global Indian Music Awards, which was shown on Colors Channel. In 2015, Neil Nongkanri, founder, mentor and conductor of the group, was awarded the Padma Shri, the fourth highest civilian award of India. In 2013, they composed and sang four songs for the debut Malayalam movie, Goodbye December and the song Mari Mari was aired live by BBC Radio. The choir had been touring extensively all over India and the world, gaining fame and recognition. Their projects include involvement in music videos, movies and concerts all over India. 
The Shillong Chamber Choir often performs Christmas shows towards the end of the year. In December 2018, they performed in Chennai on the 15th of December at Phoenix Market City and 18th December at Kar Jimkhana. The choir has been in Mumbai since October 2021 to record their multilingual album, which is scheduled to be released in 2022. The choir conductor and founder Neil Nonkanri had joined them in November 2021 and till the time of his passing away, he had been with the choir members to support and guide them through the recording sessions. It was on 4th January 2022 that late Nonkanri fell ill and had to be rushed to the Reliance Hospital in Mumbai where he had to undergo surgery the following day. The 5th of January 2022 turned out to be the darkest day for choir members who had to deal with profound pain and anguish when they came to learn of their mentors passing away. A pall of gloom descended not just upon his family but upon the country and the world as people learned of their beloved Uncle Neil's passing away. Those who had known Neil Nonkanri and many who had never had any sort of personal encounter with him mourned his death as that of a loved one, an uncle, a brother, a son, a family member, a great friend, a guide, a mentor and a person with a big heart. The body of late Neil Nonkanri arrived at Whispering Pines, his home in Poxe, Shillong, during the midnight of 6th January 2022, where family members, loved ones and friends gathered to receive his mortal remains. Me, that grief felt so much like fear. I am not afraid, but the sensation is like being afraid. The same fluttering in the stomach, the same restlessness, the yawning. I keep on swallowing. At times, it feels like being mildly drunk, concussed. There is a sort of an invisible blanket between the world and me. So wrote C.S. Lewis when his wife died. And this articulates in part what I feel, and perhaps what many of you have been part of Neil feel today. Neil belonged to so much of us, and to all of us gathered here today. Even people who did not know him personally feel that dreadful sense of loss. It can be said that his phenomenal gift of entertainment, not just on the stage but in daily life, his humor but most of all his compassion and the ability to draw to himself people of all walks of life, faiths, communities, cultures and races set him apart from much of humanity. He was an extraordinary child. He hated going to school. No matter what school my parents put him in, he tried to avoid going as much as he could. On hindsight, we now realize that a conventional school system stifled and threatened to kill his creative spirit, which is why in later life he sought to educate and create a learning space for children and students that was inspiring challenging and original. I learned how to play the piano at a very early age and sought to become a teacher to all who would learn from me. But my other siblings resisted all my efforts. It was only Neil at the tender age of three and a half. He sat by the piano and he learned how to play chopsticks and soon graduated to all the hits from The Sound of Music the theme from Love Story and many other tunes. My father would borrow records from friends and we grew up with the songs of Perry Como, Petula Clark, Roger Whittaker, James Lass and many more. Daddy would show us off both to our friends. He would even ask me to play Hindi songs for some of his Hindi speaking friends and that is how Neil started to play Yado Ki Bharat and Churaliya before long. On the days when he would accompany whoever was picking me up and my sister from school, the girls would gather around him, asking him to play for them. Even our mother superior, who was the next in authority to God, 
in our youthful eyes was one of his fans. I was confounded that he even dared to say to her in his raspy voice, first give me sappy. Sappy was a peanut brittle sweet that was sold in the school canteen that I would bring home sometimes as it was afforded only occasionally because pocket money was scarce and mostly non-existent. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything, and I pray you will, will, Lord Jesus, till we meet again, till we meet again in heaven. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for all of this. I pray in your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the friends who are all here, Lord Jesus, being comforting us, Lord Jesus, and I know you will bless them for, by what they will hear of this life, Lord Jesus, of a champion, and I praise and, and keep everything before you. I, all of this I ask in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. I would say he was more than a father. He, he, had, he was many things to us. He was, a, he was our mentor. He was our leader. As a friend and uh, my association personally I think the story is too long to get into now but he transformed me completely he knew me more than I knew myself and as the years progressed he brought me up with so much love and so much care and a foundation in such strong principles that those things although he's no longer here but those things is what will carry us through. And his being is in each and every one of us. And he's taught us. He, he took a back seat, just so you know, quite a few years ago, so that we would move forward. He would not travel much for the concerts, hardly, because he wanted us to grow. And I dare say the Shillong Chimba Choir, he's built it now that it can stand on its own. And as he hated anything that was stagnant, we too will not just uphold the name of the Shillong Chamber Choir, but we will take it forward and it shall prosper even more. And that is the, the leader that I think was. You were with him in Mumbai. We were with him in Mumbai. Uh, can you tell us about the your last days? His last days, you know, he was, he was actually very well. And uh, we had 33 songs to record for our new spiritual album that was coming. It was a gift to the world. His, it was a deep desire in his heart for many years to give a spiritual album. And he said something, once we've done the spiritual album, you see how much God will bless the other work as well. And uh, finished those 33 songs. On the time that he was about to go for the operation, he, I went, I was with him, I was with Ah as well, me and him were with, with Uncle Neil. And he said, Uncle Neil, the Sopranos have finished all the songs. That means the main voice. And he just smiled. And with that comfort, he knew that it was going to happen. He, he's not, he doesn't really show much himself in video, but this time you'll see him on the piano, uh, where he always loved to be. And uh, we did some video shoots and all of that. It was such a memorable, but at the same time, there was a certain haste in him, because he's such a spiritual man and could see far beyond what we could see. And he knew that something was going to happen. He was in such a hurry to finish this, to finish that, to imbibe more and more of of God in all of us and I dare say that he has fulfilled it and uh, he has given his everything and at a wonderful age of 51 uh, he has already done so much for us while just being there in the background and that legacy will continue just one thing in itself the amount of unpublished work that is there is humongous, humongous, I must tell you. And there's a Jainty album which is just lying there which we want to release. There's a spiritual album which we want to release. There is, um, uh, there is uh, so many Khasi songs. Then the biggest thing of all, his opera which he has been working on for almost 20 years now, and that is Solanyam. And that is, I, I dare say, it is on the verge of completion. And we will get people involved. We're trying to get the government involved in this as well and make it one of the biggest exports of our country to the rest of the world. And uh, there's, 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 so, there's immense amounts of that. And the future for the choir is, like I said, he will not want us to remain where we are. He will want us to grow further and further. And, and we will do that. And there's a burning flame inside each one of us to pursue that. Because he's taught us enough. He left us at the right time, I would dare say. You know, although we'll 
we miss him and we are grieving tremendously. But what a man. He, he made sure that things did not go with him. So he will be a guide in absentia, even if he is not there. Sorry? He will be a guide in absentia. Oh, every single day of our life, we will remember him and how he did things. And how he, the traditions, the... But I'll tell you one thing. The music I know will carry on and it will prosper. Uh, the school, this is the, an announcement. the shop. Uh, and we, we know that we actually this in faith. That but uh, the seating in the indoor the thing that uh, hall has been kept especially will just be the biggest mountain for us uh, is how members, he was a life giving spirit every single day of his life. So he lived for the sake of others. That. Thank you so much. We and that is something which that all the family members it's one of selflessness. And uh, that is uh, what is going to be our biggest task. One thing I'm sure will be irreplaceable is the way he played the piano. He was not virtuo in the sense of, you know, doing some fantastic this and fantastic that. He hardly practiced anymore because he was so used to giving his life for the sake of others. Music was down the line. Just because of work, he would just, you know, start composing and this and that. But his piano playing is unmatched simply because of the depth of his soul. And his touch on the piano, I've not heard, I can dare say this, I've not heard, and the way he plays it and the soul behind it is absolutely irreplaceable. And uh, of course his composition skills, he's, you, you don't know where he's going and where he's coming from. He's full of wit, full of inventiveness. He can't bear, medleys happened, and it's IUSB now, it simply happened because he couldn't bear to listen to the same song from beginning to end. He had to put something else there to keep, you know, changing things around. And he's taught that to us. And a lot of the medleys that you now hear are actually not even written by him. They're written by Iba, by Kevi, some by the choir members. And he just supervises and sees things. But hardly, you know, will he, will he say, uh, will he change much. Because he knew that we also had to grow. So that was the, the man that he was. He did not, he made sure that it did not end with him. It was just something that he was there to push us forward. Then. Condolence messages that kept pouring in from all corners of the world included those of Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi, Indian National Congress Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, Chief Minister of Meghalaya Conrad K. Sangma, friends he had made all across Europe, the United Kingdom, artists of the entertainment industry in India and elsewhere, and many others who had known Neil and the person he was. The passing away of Neil Nonkanri is a great loss to the family, near and dear ones, the music fraternity in India and across the globe, and more so to members of the Shillong Chamber Choir, whose lives he had groomed and molded into strong and independent people, which has been an outcome of years of training and endurance of the many challenges along the way. On 8th January, the mortal remains of late Nongkanri were finally laid to rest at the Jayao Presbyterian Church Cemetery at Laomali in Shillong. Neil Nongkanri is no more, but he will live on in the hearts of everyone through the music he has made and lives he has impacted in more ways than one. Team Media Plus offers its heartfelt condolences to the late musical maestro's family members, members of the Shillong Chamber Choir, and to all near and dear ones. Uncle Neil, rest in eternal peace in Christ Jesus.